hello guys welcome to my youtube channel api code here i will be um, explaining how apis of different fintechs i are implemented so we are down to flutter wave so i'll be explaining how to use the flutter wave standard with php to be able to um, accept payments on your platform so um, let's dive straight into it so i'll go straight to it here and here is the flutter wave standard let me go back okay okay let me go back okay collecting payments so this is the standard yeah so for the standard payments you are going to call their create payment endpoint we're going to be calling the create payment endpoint and with some information which you pass in the request body transaction reference amount currency redirect url is the um, url to do, redirect the customer after payment is done then the customer details name email phone number then there are some information you might want to get like the customer mark number you can get the ip address and other things you may need so like customer id so you can this is for customization of your um the what of your service to you get your title your logo and the description then probably you have a split account you have multiple accounts you want to split the money into so you could actually add this but this is optional actually so um then we have the payment plan yeah so this is also optional you do want a recurring payment so so that is just it so this is the payment uh, url where you make an api call to this is it so this is actually very easy so you add your authorization header then um, you add your json body it's very easy to implement so the upon successful you are going to get a link which you redirect your customer to make their payment to get now so that is the way it works so let's dive straight into it so after payment do well to verify the final state of your transaction so i'll make a video on verification of transaction later so you could actually look into it and um, play around with the code so this is how it is so let's go straight into the code thank you let's go straight to it so my folder structure goes as usual front end the back end then I have this vendor folder here because I imported some packages to use here. So I have my package composer.json. Let's see the contents. Composer.json holds the uh, packages that we've installed with our composer. So, so this is it. I installed Flutter with version 3 and um, and .env. Lucas, Lucas, the um, php.env package. So these are the two packages I'm using on for this project. So let's go straight to the front end. So I will be opening it on my. So if you look at my browser, let's go back to my browser. Go back to my browser. You will see it here. You can see it here where you have your email, phone number, name, and amount. Let's put a thousand euro to my summit. Let us see. So, so this is it. That's it. Okay. So this is what it does. You get information, this data. Okay. Let me close here. Let me close here. So this is what it does here. This is the project this is the front end that's why i call it front end so this is where the whole front data from the customer is gotten so from here now the, the customer inputs his information here then after that after that the customer now has um 
after that the information is now packaged into an array so package to an array then sent to make payment function now this function is in the back end here so this back end here the back end is here so this back end here makes a request to um the payment api url so make a request to this url encode the data then attach your uh, flutter with secret key so i use the emv file to be able to um, get my secret key so you can see it here always put your EMV, your um, secret keys and uh, sensitive um, some um, your information inside here you get always put them inside your dot emv file then content type application json so um i think then i return the response so from there we now move on to um from there we move we let's go back to the front end let's go back to the front end here yeah. let's go back to the front end yeah. so this is it i pass this information and this redirect url is where you should redirect to i added my redirect url to my env file to get added it to my env file so um okay so don't forget my config.php file here so this is actually where i convert it i declare a variable and assign it to my env file direct before i now um, i load the dot env then i now assign it to a constant constant variable these are to define constant variable in php so I declare it, I assign it there, then I can now import it into my project, my front end. So I imported it at the top here. Sorry, I imported in my back end, then imported back end into the front end. City. We get now. So um I think we are done with it. So we can actually look at how it works on the front end. So let me go straight into it so let's um let's test it out and see so i have this so i run this so i will go to my testing here so i'll copy this copy this to c and paste it here and the months and the year is 0932 zero nine three two then cvv cvv is five six four so just click on pay so what's the spin what's the pin here so the pin here is three three one zero so i'll go back three three one zero so OTP one two three four five six call for so thank you for your payment so so this like a redirect if you can look at this place you see that it's successful so you could um use this um data here to be able to um send a success message or save the transaction reference this is transaction reference here yeah. And transaction ID to your database to get now you can also use it to validate your transaction so if you enjoy our videos please kindly um subscribe share and um we look forward to making more videos thank you